The rest of your strategy. While stories are immensely powerful and have huge potential for marketers, they unfortunately do not work in a vacuum. And more specifically, that is to say that stories on their own are not enough to make a huge impact. That's because a story is only one small part of a much larger social media marketing strategy. And your social media marketing strategy is likewise just one part of a much bigger puzzle that is your internet marketing strategy. In order for stories to work, you need to have that initial following, as well as a good amount of trust and engagement from your audience. This video will quickly go over some of how to go about getting that. Building a following on social media. Have a niche. The first thing you need to do is to ensure that you choose a niche and then stick to it. This is where a lot of people will go wrong, and it's why most general users don't have lots of followers. Think about it logically. Who would you want to follow on Instagram or Facebook? Someone that provides interesting content that appeals to you. If that content is completely random, then you'll find there is no reason to keep coming back. Follow most people, though, and you'll get pictures of their holidays, of their partners, of their pets, and of them doing selfies in the mirror. Unless you know that person, this isn't going to be of much interest to anyone, so choose a topic and stick to it if you want to get followers. Your business is likely to define this topic, so the next challenge is to find a way to take the industry you work in and make that into something interesting and ideally somewhat visual so that you can really sell it from your account. This is where many businesses struggle. If you are a travel writer, then coming up with a great theme for your Instagram account will seem easy. But if you happen to run a business that provides legal consulting, how do you turn that into something people want to follow? The answer is to think about the lifestyle and about the value proposition. In other words, what is it that you are helping people to achieve? As a legal consultant, that will depend on your clientele. If you are marketing to businesses, then that might mean helping people to achieve their dreams and find success. If you are marketing to families, then it might mean helping them to achieve security financially. This then can provide the tone and topic for your photos. Are these images of people doing business, of tips for small companies, or are they images of families and activities for families? Either can work, and from there, the stories will then share a little of your personality and behind the scenes. This is the cherry on top of the cake. Have a strong brand. What's also crucial for your stories, for your social media marketing, and for your marketing as a whole, is to set out with a strong brand. Remember, the big advantage of stories is to let people get to know you more as a brand, to let them feel closer to you and to build trust and engagement. This works a lot more effectively if the brand is something that people can really get behind. Note here the important distinction between a brand and a logo. A brand is much more than a logo. Your branding starts when you identify your mission statement. What is your business set out to help and how? What are your values? Take a look at the best business accounts on Instagram and you'll see that they all have a clear message and objective. If we go back to the 1,000 true fans concept, you essentially need to be more than just a business in order to establish those real fans. No one is a fan of their heating company, but you get genuinely fans of Apple. The thing is, there's no reason you can't be a fan of a heating company. Not if that company stands for being eco-friendly, being simple for customers, being convenient. Not if that company also does other interesting things and has a stellar social media account. Know your audience. Don't try to cater to everyone and know what you're here to do. Create a logo that expresses this intent and hopefully you'll attract the right kind of customer who has the potential for high engagement. This is the kind of customer who will watch your stories and who will become more loyal to your brand each time they do. Take good pictures or write interesting things. What's also, of course, rather important is that you take great pictures. We mentioned that this was somewhat important for stories, but for your general accounts, it becomes much more crucial. Even if you choose a topic that interests a lot of people, you're not going to keep your followers very long if all your images are grainy and at awkward angles. As such, then, it's highly important that you also brush up on your photography skills. This is something that you can learn with a little practice and by reading up online. So put the time in to improve your craft and follow the tips from earlier in this training. The same goes for other forms of social media. If you have a Twitter account, then you need to tweet interesting and humorous things. If you have a Facebook page, then make sure that you are sharing interesting content relevant to your audience through it. The big takeaway, offer value. Make sure you are providing a good reason for people to follow you. Too many brands, especially older corporate businesses, will make the mistake of only ever posting about their own services or industry. 
Again, this is something that they think makes them somehow more professional, and they are often afraid to venture outside of that comfort zone. But think realistically. How likely would you personally be to want to follow an account that only ever posted about how effective its EPOS system is? You need to provide good content to ensure that the next time you post, your followers want to look. And remember, engagement is more important than followers. Be active and consistent. Of course, people are also going to stop following you pretty quickly if you never post, so you also need to make sure that you use the site often if you want to gather some momentum. And better yet, be active in liking other people's photos and posts too, and commenting. That way, people will come to see who like their pictures and you'll bring in lots of new visitors. Try to get into the habit of posting once or twice a day, and where this isn't possible, use automated systems and scheduling apps to keep a steady flow of content to your channel, even in your absence. Tags. Finally, you need to make sure that people can actually find your site in the first place, which is where using the right tags comes into place. Tags work on Instagram just the same way they work on Twitter. You use a hash next to the word that you think people are going to search for, and then that way people can start browsing by theme. This is similar to picking keywords and key phrases in SEO. You need to choose things that people are likely to look for and which the right people are going to look for. This requires you to think about what's always popular, what's currently in vogue, and also what people are likely to search for within your niche. As we've seen, using tags that aren't too popular is an important tip as well to ensure that your content doesn't get drowned out right away. On Instagram in particular, users are allowed to include 30 tags with every post. Our advice, include all 30. Think of it as 30 free chances to play the lottery. There really is no reason not to take every opportunity.